Well, there she is on the beach, getting ready to go. Um, haven't put the sails on yet, obviously, but but there she is, Rake. And I got a long way to go down the beach. I'm going to drag her down right now. Well, now notice she's sitting on a relatively flat beach here, and you see that gap uh, between the sand and the uh, amas. Um, Obviously, in the water, the canoe hull is going to sink, and that those amas are going to just kiss the top of the waves, top of the water, uh, when this when this uh, canoe is in the water. Well, here I am, first sail in the Classic 16 Retro Amas, sailing along nicely, doing four and a half knots, pretty close to shore. Uh, high winds right now, but because the winds are from the north that way, uh, I don't have any waves yet. Um, I, I, I got a small sail. I, I, I don't have my 5 meter or 55 foot sail right now, so I'm using my 36 footer. And I'm moving along real nice. These amas, these amas are fantastic. They, uh, they're, just, they're just cruising, man. Uh, this, is, this is fun. I gotta watch where I'm going. Pretty shallow water right here. The tide is all the way out, and the wind is blowing it out further. So uh, it's pretty darn shallow in here. But I'm moving along on a on a decent reach. I got to uh, adjust my sail a little bit, a little more on the downhaul. Uh, but <laughs> she's she's moving she's moving pretty good. When I get out, I'm in protected wind right now, and uh, she'll she'll start moving pretty good. This 36 footer is uh, probably I would it's I would reach I, I would reef it a little uh, my 55 footer a little bit today in 20 knot winds. So uh, this is actually not too bad of a of a first test for what the system will be like. I've got my new my new wooden lee board. It's a little bit longer than the fiberglass version. Uh, this seems to be working pretty good. See what I mean by shallow water. Anyway, I'll get back to you soon. Well, I'm cruising along nicely here. Just hit a very shallow patch. Um, but the, you can see that the that AMA is uh, entering the water very nicely. I like this. Um, and then it isn't in there its full length anyway. So there's just a very small footprint at the moment in the water. And she's cruising along nicely. On the other side, the, the AMA is completely out of the water, which is good. That's exactly the way I want it for this kind of a situation. And um, you see I've got plenty of reserve flotation still available in the front. And uh, uh, it, it's, it's nice. I'm really liking it. Notice too, I don't have that big aluminum plate up here. Don't need it in this configuration. Um, if I went bigger than the 55 foot sail, like if I wanted to put a hundred square feet of sail on this with a jib, yeah, I would need that mast base plate or something like it. Uh, but for this rig and for the new uh, five meter bay log rig that's coming out soon, um, uh, you, you can get by with a, with a standard bay log setup. You do have to uh, have the extreme version of the Akas. And uh, the mast, I'm going to show you the mast next, when the 55 footer comes in, I'll show you what you have to do to the mast. Because a one and a half inch mast won't work. But I have a, a really cool way, very elegant, I think, to, uh, to put a stronger mast on here, enough for that 55 footer. Yeah, as I'm getting away from shore, I'm now starting to get a few more waves. And uh, it's nothing big by any means, but, um, but just a little bit of wave action. And uh, I'm just checking out, you know, how these almonds handle it. And uh, so far, they're they're doing a pretty good job. Um, the the uh, if if I if I was out with the small, you know, regular sized bay log almonds, um, this could be a pretty hairy ride with this wind. It reminds me a little bit of uh, the last EC where everybody was count heading down towards Venice, and it was starting to get. A little hairy. The, the waves then were a little bit bigger than this, but um, people were starting to have to go inside. And with this rig, I'm not sure I'd, I would have gone inside like I did with the small Amas. Um, again, it's going to take me a little while to play with this and get get to know it better. 
Uh, today my only goal was to get out here uh, for a little short sale and just see how they did and get some video. Um, I have to uh, go help my daughter and son-in-law learn how to sail a 34-foot Catalina, so uh, I'll be in a much bigger boat later today and tomorrow. Um, but right now I'm real pleased with, with these Amas. I mean, they are fantastic. Uh, and it's going to make it possible to retrofit any Kruger that is set up with a Baylog system right now can retrofit and use these Amas and then they can upgrade their sails if they want to. Um, it's going to be super neat. Okay, this is kind of interesting. I wanted to put on my uh, my waterproof uh, jacket because it's I, I'm turning around now and going back and um, I, I'm heaving too here. And you can just see I'm just kind of sitting here in the water and just just kind of floating. And this is what you need to do. Like if you, if you need to pee or you need to you need to eat something or fix something up or do anything, you just just heave too. Works with, it works very well when when you have this setup. Okay, I'm beating into the wind. I'm doing about uh, five knots, and uh, she's she's pointing pretty good. Uh, you can see that uh, the ama is still getting has plenty of reserve flotation left, and uh, it's a much wetter ride, of course. That's why I had to put my jacket on. But uh, she's pointing better than I've ever ever had uh, this boat point before. Uh, part of that is the new lee board I got it. Like I said before, it's a little bit longer, and uh, and and maybe the maybe the other part is the Yamas. I'm not sure, but but uh, you know I've only got 36 feet of sail up here. Like I said, if I had the 55 footer, I probably would have reefed it anyway, and it'd be about 36 feet roughly. So uh, so this is a fairly representative uh, situation here. On the other tack, she doesn't point quite so well on this tack because the uh, the lee board is out, out a little bit more. I only have a lee board on one side, so uh, it doesn't point quite as well, but it's still better than, than it was before. Uh, so I think the play, uh, the wind has really picked up quite a bit. I'm getting some good spray over the bow now. They're getting very wet. Wet ride here today. But lots of fun. I'm still pretty much got a lot of reserve flotation left in these conditions, so I'm pretty happy with that. This arm is flying a lot higher now. Nasty. Well, I have to tell you, I've had a lot of fun today. I was out for a very short sail, but man, oh man, you know, when the wind is blowing 20 knots and uh, cold water's hitting you in the face, it's fun. I'm getting in closer to shore now, so the, so I'm not getting quite as much spray as I was getting there for a while, but I was eating salt water there. Uh, little little self-portrait, <laughs> i tell you what, this has been a lot of fun. Um, the, uh, the Amas are doing great. Uh, this is fantastic, and I can tell you this, if you've already got a Baylog 36 foot sail or a 38 foot sail, you do not have to upgrade to the 55 footer right away if you don't want to. Because you can get really good performance with your standard Baylog sail and these Amas. Now, any system can be outdone. You, you know, in this kind of weather, I could easily get tipped over with this setup. It doesn't guarantee I'm not going to get tipped over. You still have to be a good captain. You still have to reef when you have to reef. You know, you got to think a little bit, but this does add to your safety as long as you are a good and reasonable captain. So um, that'll be it for today, and uh, I'll see you on the water next time. Well, there she is. Isn't she beautiful sitting on the beach like that? Um, pretty soon I'll have a bigger sail and uh, it'll be fun to take that out. <laughs>